up and because it's very, very important to me. I, the staff that I have in athletics and football is amazing. But my athletic staff, and I need to introduce um, Katie Lusby, who's uh, director of compliance for me. She also does, does a lot of other things. Um, Patrick Golden, who handles game day operations and facilities. Uh, Ryan Tao, who's our communications director. Uh, and then Gary Anna Pace. And, and where's Gary? Did she have to leave? Right oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, we call her G. Uh, she's she's amazing. She, you know, we had our Hall of Fame banquet. Katie helped a bunch. I got Jeremy and Justin Wagner. There's so many people, but G, very much appreciative of all the hard work that you put in. Puts up with a lot of stuff. They all put up with a lot of stuff, but there's a purpose to what we do, and I so want to go through this with you guys today just to talk about it because at the very end of all this, we need help financially to make this happen. It is what it is. Go ahead and say it at the beginning, and I'll say it again at the end. Uh, there's, a, there's a point here where we've got to get some money raised to get this thing done. It's, it's huge. And I'm, I'm going to give you a background story. There's a gentleman named Ken Hunt. Started back in COVID. Got to know Ken really well uh, during that time. And he wanted to be involved with UAM. He graduated here in 78, I think. Uh, it was a defensive end, all-conference defensive end. Uh, Ken Hunt has done tremendous. My daughter Alexa. So, <laughs> so anyway, Ken's done a tremendous job. Um, as far as being involved and, and doing a lot for us financially. Uh, but this thing started as a renovation for our football locker room. That's where it started. That's what the money was coming in for. Got into the role of interim athletic director. I went to Ken, I went to Dr. Doss. I said, I think we need to rethink this a little bit. I don't want to do something where it's looked at, where you know it's just for football because now I'm in that role. We need to do something for everybody. We needed a new weight room. All the coaches agree with that. We need a new training room. That's everything that, that, that we could all benefit from. And I felt like that's the direction we need, needed to go. Also felt like it was the direction that if we did it, people would see it. We had heard all the stuff in the past. People gave money and didn't, you know, those kind of things. We wanted to prove that we could do the right thing. And by doing this first step, people would see that this is good for our athletes, for our student athletes. And it would, it would keep building. I mean, there's so many things. Softball, we've got to do stuff with the dugouts. So there's lights we want to do for baseball, softball. We want to renovate football. We want to do stuff with the stadium. This is the first step. This is what's going to make people go, all right, I'm ready to give now because they have a purpose and a plan. And this is the first plan. So that's the background a little bit about this. And, and it is important to tell it because it's all about us together. Our coaches get along. We all got the same purpose. We understand what we got to do. We do have some resource issues, but we make the most of it. We make the most of it. So I'm going to start this slide. Ryan, uh, Ryan I want to make sure I'm doing right here. I did right. Is that right? Yes. My first, second slide. <laughs> anyway, I want to give a shout out to Garrett May. Garrett May used to work for us. Just got a job at the University of Alabama. Garrett helped me out a little bit with this. One of the things I might do, Dr. Doss, you know, when we talked at the beginning of the year, everybody in college, the, same, the enrollment is an issue for college, just students in general. Uh, and one of the things that Dr. Doss and I talked about, what can we do from an athletic standpoint to try to help that out? What can we do? Can we bring a few more people walk-on wise, a few more people on the roster? And all of our coaches agreed to do that in some capacity. And we did it. And we, and we started looking at something. And I say this to you because I want you to see that we're doing our part in athletics too. We're not just asking everybody to help us. We want to do our part. And that, that's, that's part. Because when I go to Dr. Doss and say, Dr. Doss, I need, I need some money because i got some things coming up, then she's going to feel a little bit more apt to do that because we're trying to help out. So one of the things I wanted to show is that we wanted to increase our student athletes' enrollment. And we've done that. If you look at numbers from 2021, we went from 261 to 270. Went, Man, that's just nine students. That adds up. That adds up. But the overall increase that we're trying to get, I mean, 24.42% growth of student athletes from 2020 all the way to where we're at now. That's great. We're doing our part. And I wanted to show you that because I think it's important. You know, we've done some things. Uh, Chad has a friend that was really, really instrumental in getting our gym floor renovated. Uh, and one of the deals we covered with, with, with David was, hey, if you do that, can you match that for what we're trying to do here? And he said, no problem. $40,000 check to get that done, $40,000 check went to this PC. See, it's great. That's the kind of thing we're doing. So we were able to do that, but we got a lot of new faces in our program, and I want y'all to meet some of our coaches and GAs and things. Uh, but we got a lot, of, a lot of folks, a lot of great ideas, and we're trying to do the, do the right thing. There you go. There's the first picture right there. Now, I'm going to tell you, that was pretty nasty in this area right here, just to let you know. We, when we trained it, we were worried that 
Maybe a body might show up. We weren't sure. But anyways, you can see where we started and where we're at. And the next few slides is going to be where we're going next. The, ne the next part of it. And you'll see some of these other renderings. And again, you're sitting where we're at right now, but I thought you needed to see that. One of the things I want you to understand about our Athletic Performance Center, this number that we have laid out uh, for this project, really, we're trying to get a little bit above that. And you know, that, the total project's gonna be about the $1.1 million to get done. We're a little bit over $600,000 raised uh, at this point. But the thing is, it's, it's amazing how quickly those numbers can go up with COVID and all these things, like the HVAC system alone in here, just the HVAC system is pushing a half a million dollars just for that system. The timeline for it is, is unreal how long it takes to get all these things done. But it is what it is. We're, we're in the process of getting it done, so we've got to continue to fight hard to get those money, money raised. So just giving you a little bit of a figure where, that, where that's at for us. The timeline, the schedule, we, we got to, I'm going to tell you what I learned a bunch about this. What words not to use, what words to use. So the project schedule, that is, that is what we're following right here. And for me, I'm more of a guy that I move around, I can show you different things. So, but what we're trying to do, this is some of the things that we're going to get done in the order that we're going to get it done. Obviously, there's going to be a big wall right outside of this door that goes all the way to the ceiling that's going to separate our weight room that you're in right now and the training room, which is going to be on the other side. Okay? That's got to be the first thing that we do. And then we will install a drop ceiling on the training room side. This will be open. That will have a 10 foot drop ceiling in it, which helps a little bit with our HVAC system. Once we get that, then we'll put our HVAC system in. And trust me, the very last thing that goes in is the equipment on the weight room. This has got to be working first properly because we have about $175,000 of weight equipment that's going to be in here that we got to take care of. So once we get to that point, we'll start putting some of the flooring in. The great people at Showcase Flooring out of Pine Bluff, uh, Brad and Sarah Rice have donated. They donated all the flooring for our weight room and the training room as a gift in kind. The rebar that's in this concrete was donated by Matt Grace as a gift in kind. The concrete itself, uh, Cliff Gibson and, 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 and Charlie Searcy donated this concrete. Uh, so we're going out and asking people, the furniture that's gonna go into the training room is being built by Atkins, Atkins uh, Furniture Stuff uh, Company. That's all a gift in kind. So all that stuff adds up. So all those things are gonna be done. Therapy pools, like right here back in the back where this big bay door is located, there's gonna be a storage area, but where that gravel's at is gonna be our wet therapy area where we're gonna have our whirlpools, things that's important for getting our student athletes back on track. That's, that's a big, and I, and I put that there because once we get walls and everything up, then we can move the therapy pool in because it's pretty decent size and, and we gotta be able to follow our project schedule the way we're doing it. The wall dividing the therapy pool and the storage area, like I said, is going to be installed. All the taping and rehab tables, um, the active is, is building for us. That will be brought in at that time. And then, like I said, the last thing that we're going to do is the weight equipment. And I'm going to tell you, the weight equipment, Randy Risher, uh, another gentleman that helps us out so much, that's what he does for a living. That is his business. So the people that he got quotes for us for that weight equipment with like a hundred thousand dollar discount, we wouldn't get that without Randy. So that price would be driven up to a whole nother range if we didn't have him to sort of negotiate those kind of things for us. So this gives you a little bit of a timeline. I know that it's uh, a lot of different things, but I, I, again, I just want to you know sort of explain to you what it's going to look like when we get everything done. These are some examples of some of the stuff, you know, picture-wise. I mean, this is what our stuff will look like. Uh, I mean, we want it to be first class. The weight room we have right now, that equipment has been used like to no end. It, it is, we got every, every dime out of that equipment. And so the equipment you gotta get, it's gotta be of a level. You're gonna have a 300 student athletes working out in here. I'm sure we're gonna have faculty and staff want to come work out in it too. So there's gonna be a lot of things happening. And we gotta make sure that we get things that's gonna last for all of our student athletes. This is a pretty cool deal, and I'm trying to get you to visualize. We're gonna have 16 weight racks in this weight room. There'll be eight on this side, eight on the other side, and Randy Richard came up, he says, man, once we get this stuff in here, this part of it I'm gonna give to you where you can 
connect things together uh, for our student athletes to be able to utilize. So I thought that was a, a neat concept that you know we will be one of the first ones to, to use that. This is just some examples of what the therapy pools will look like. And you're probably thinking, really, do we need that? Yeah, it's a big part of therapy now. It's a big part of getting your student athletes back on the field quicker. And that's the beauty of all this because Shelly's not gonna know what to do with herself. She's gonna have to get trained and certified in some of this blood flow restriction therapy, all kinds of new things that helps our student athletes to get better. It's a big part of being a student athlete this time. Back when I played, you know, when Chad Tapp was in the NBA back in the day, you know, concussions and that kind of stuff, you didn't, you didn't have to worry about it. Today, we gotta be on point. We gotta make sure that we're on point. Okay, so that's just an example uh, of what that might look like, or close to it. These are some of the examples of the, the furniture that's being built for us. Uh, taping tables, therapy tables. Obviously, it'll have colors that'll be associated with UAM in a, in a beautiful uh, green color. And again, here's, here's a part that we, we sort of talked about here recently. We're trying to make it more attractive. We want people to be able to help us in any way they can. And people that do give us a, a certain level of money, we want to be able to, if, if you come in and you want to have your name on one of the, you know, the, the, our head trainer, our assistant trainer, or, you know, this area right here with the steps are at, that's going to be a rehab station. When teams come in, they can have team meetings in here. There's all kinds of stuff that can happen. But there's going to be ways that if you want to give and you want to honor someone, um, if you want to put your name on it, this is a great way to do it. There's a lot of different levels that it can be done. So, and again, these are going to be things that we're going to put up on the website, this slideshow that you can sort of go back to if you want to know some more information. Obviously, our office is, is open at any time to talk about it. But there's a lot of different possibilities here that you can do with, with naming rights and this sort of breaks down. If you notice right outside the front, Dr. Dawson and I was talking about it, just showing the people that have, have given to the project. We left a lot of space in those areas. Anybody wants to give, we'll be more than happy to put your name up there. And we will. I promise you, we will. But this sort of breaks down those levels that you're seeing. And the naming opportunities are going to start where we have at the all conference level. Um, but it's very, very important, I think, that we recognize the folks that have given to this project and, and hopefully we'll continue, continue to give. So, and then that's it. That's it. That's my whole presentation. I hope I didn't talk too fast. Uh, but here's, here's the thing. I told you at the very beginning, I was going to tell you it's going to need money to finish this, and I'm going to tell you at the end. We're going we're gonna to need your help. We're going to need your help at any level. We're going to need your help spreading this to as many people. It's too important for UAM athletics. It's not about one sport. It's about all of us. And all of our coaches, Dr. Doss, everybody on her staff is just excited about this opportunity and what it can bring for the future uh, uh, for UAM athletics. And again, I can't thank you enough. I'm grateful that you, you were able to come over and, and visit. Pass on this information, please. We'll, we'll have it on our website to make sure people can go back and look at it. But today's going to be a great day. It's already a beautiful day. Uh, we want you to enjoy the football game, fellowship, talk to a lot of people. We got baby showers today. We got all kinds of stuff happening. So let's make, let's make sure we enjoy today. But again, thank you so much. Uh, and, and go Weavers. Yeah. Also, uh, before I go, we have some flyers uh, and also the some information about your pledge. We also have a couple of different ones up here too, Dr. Cox, that if you want to use a QR code, you can. Uh, but we're going to pass these out um, and then uh, get them on your way out if you have any questions. Dr. Doss will be here a little bit longer. I won't, but you will. Jeff will be here, Weaver, we'll get our coaches to be here too. They're all very knowledgeable about it. But again, thank you all very much.